race events it's thanks to you that a lot of this night has come together how amazing does it feel to see it like this michelle it feels incredible as you know usually we're running live events which are very very different from a studio tv studio event like this but it looks amazing all of our guests have been fantastic and it's just you know great to see it coming together it really is a special evening. And of course, the charity itself is very special to you yeah. because you were diagnosed with breast cancer back in 2015. Yeah, yeah, I was. Um, and actually, that's the first time that I came across the charity, um, as they then were before their, their kind of rebrand, um, in the Nightingale Hospital. So I was diagnosed in the Nightingale Hospital. Um, my consultant, James Harvey, has a big part to play in Prevent Breast Cancer. Um, so yeah, my journey with the charity has been you know five six year one um, and as a result you know the charity and their mission is very special to me and, and very relevant to me and tell us a little bit about your story and your experience because you nearly didn't recognize or, or get diagnosed straight away did you yeah well at the time um, going back kind of five six years i was 37 um, cancer and breast cancer is a lot more prevalent now um, but back then it was you know my doctor didn't expect it to be um, cancer when I went to them um, my consultant thought it probably wouldn't be but let's get you checked out anyway because I was quite young um, I found the lump accidentally so I was lying down in bed and a couple of times when I sat up to put my book away um, I noticed a pulling um, and that's the reason that I ended up kind of going, oh, what's that? Um, but had I not done that, um, had that not happened, I probably wouldn't have known until it was too late. So the whole thing about checking yourself, I wish I would have known and I wish I would have kind of come across Prevent Breast Cancer um, earlier. And so I thought to do that because it could have been a very different story. Yeah, and you yourself, as you said, you, you didn't expect to, to be diagnosed. You're a very, very busy woman. Yep. You're very healthy. And your mum to a gorgeous boy called Zach. How difficult was that for you as a mum, yeah. you know, trying to explain to him the situation and your diagnosis? Yeah, well, you're absolutely right. You know, I'm, I'm a career girl. I'm always running around all over the place. Um, in fact, when I went for my test, I told the girl who worked for me, who was also a good friend of mine, not to bother coming. I won't find anything else out today. I'll go on my own. So it was actually a real shock when I found out, a shock to me, a shock to the staff. And then obviously, as you say, the next step was telling my family and in particular, Zach, um, the Nightingale Hospital um, were absolutely, Nightingale Centre were absolutely brilliant um, and they give you a little book um, that you can read to your child so it really charts the journey of a, of a mum with breast cancer and what happens to her through the treatment so I had that and I took it back and I read it to Zach and I think you know they gave me some brilliant advice um, that it, you know you need to talk about it you need to be honest obviously don't be too graphic but you know make sure that you you don't leave them in the dark and that was that was great advice and the book was amazing um, I kind of got part way through it before he said I don't want to hear any more because there was a bit about the mum losing her hair and he was like you won't be you but overall you know it was a really it was a really useful way to be able to set his expectations about what was going to happen but it was tough on him he was only young oh, absolutely but how are you today yeah, absolutely brilliant. You know, touch the wood that we haven't got around us. Um, yeah, no, I'm fit and healthy. You know, I'm, I'm a success story. I'm a survivor, if you like. So I'm definitely one of the lucky ones. Now, you mentioned there about the importance of checking your breasts yeah. and, and regularly doing that and how that maybe if you had done that a little bit earlier, you know, you might have caught it a little bit earlier. Yeah. Uh, well, we've got a video now uh, by Professor Cleo.